Hey, how's it going? This is Jack Oberkirsch with HomeMusicMaker.com, and today we're doing an in-depth guide on Reaper themes. So, one thing that I love about Reaper is how customizable it is. For example, um, the ability to download and add new themes, customize those themes, change the color of your tracks, etc., etc. So, that's kind of what we're going to be going over today, is just um, where to find some Reaper themes, how to install them, and then how to customize them even. So yeah, let's get right to it. Um, before we go any further, go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe for this video. We got a bunch of other awesome content coming your way from this channel, so you don't want to miss out. Cool, so let's get right into it. Um, we're going to start with best place to find Reaper themes. So the answer for this is on the via the Reaper website. I got it pulled up over on um, Safari here. And I'll go ahead and put a link for the Reaper website in the description of this video. So once you're on the Reaper website homepage, go to the resources tab right here, and then go to themes. All right. I'm sure you can see where this is going. Um, and then once we get there, as you can see, it's um, there's 62 pages. We're on page one of 62 here. And as you scroll down, as you can see, there's just a bunch of different um, themes that you can download for Reaper. So as you can see, they all have kind of different looks. Um, they're all going to perform pretty much the same way, hopefully, as um, if they're nice and functional. Something I would recommend when looking for a new Reaper theme is if there's one with zero stars or zero ratings, um, you know, maybe steer clear that one. Let the community kind of try that one out first before you put it on your system. I like to go with ones with a bunch of views, a couple comments, um, some good uh, five-star ratings and whatnot. That way I can assume that it's probably going to be safe for my computer. But yeah, as you scroll down, um, tons of different themes. You can go on and on to other pages. But um, for now, I'm going to show you guys how to install a theme on Reaper. So let's just go ahead and pick this one. This one's called Blackmore. So we're going to click on it. Go ahead and hit this um, link right here to download it. Okay, and now it's downloading. Let's head over to Reaper. Let's go to my downloads. And as you can see, um, this zip file right here, the emblem is actually, it looks like a, a t-shirt on a hook with Reaper. So that's probably a good sign. So this is how easy it is to install Reaper themes. After you have them downloaded, just grab the file, drag it, drop it into Reaper, and just like that, the theme... Um, the theme takes effect. So bada bing, bada boom, it's that easy, um, pretty much. So now that we have this theme in Reaper, this is called Blackmore. This one I just downloaded. As you can see, it's very dark. I think this one would possibly make my eyes tired. Um, this one would probably put me to sleep after working on it or working in it for a little bit. Um, I'm going to take this opportunity to show you some of my favorite Reaper themes. So starting right off the top, my favorite theme is always going to be the, um, the default 5.0. I don't know why. It's just it's probably because it's the theme I learned on, so it's super easy for me to follow. But um, as far as some of the other themes, we have this default one. This is the more this is the newer uh, default Reaper theme. We also have <clears throat> this one called Classic, and this is like the original Reaper from way back in the day. That's what it used to look like. So those are the three themes that you'll get um, with Reaper. But here's some of my favorites. I'm going to start with the uh, W2 or the WT Imperial. And all of these themes I found on that website that I just showed you guys. So like I was saying, that's the best place to find Reaper themes. So this one's called WT Imperial. Let's check it out. Very cool. As you can see, what this one does is it gives our DAW um, kind of an analog look. So everything on here kind of looks like analog hardware right now. And these, bu these buttons are very satisfying to press. I can tell you that for sure. Um, hit this record button. Ah, so nice. Um... As you can see, though, something that's not great about this theme is all this stuff right here is all jumbled up. The reason for this is that this theme is made for more of a, a double monitor display setup. Um, it wasn't quite really made for a one monitor setup like I have right now. So as cool as it is, unless I had another monitor, it would be pretty much a nightmare to try and use this theme. So I don't really use it, although I love the way it looks. Hopefully the developers will make a one monitor version at some point. I got my eyes peeled for that. Yeah, so that's the WT Imperial theme. An awesome analog look to that one. Next one I'm going to show you guys is, it's called Relax Extended. Boom. I like this one because it's just so sleek and clean looking. The buttons are nice and big and nothing looks too jumbled up. Um, and at the same time, it's not too different from the, the regular Reaper theme. So it would be pretty easy for you to figure out how to work in it. Um, I definitely haven't really used this one much, so I'm not an expert with using it, but... Yeah, I, I really love the way the, the buttons look, especially the toolbar on this one, if you look at the toolbar over here. So yeah, that one's called Relax Extended. Next one we're going to check out is 
called Flat Madness, uh, Flat Madness 3 Black. There it is. And I like this one too. It, it kind of almost looks a little bit similar to the <clears throat> Relax one, just in the sense of like layout and color scheme and whatnot. But this one looks really cool in my opinion. I like the, um, I like the orange with the faders right here um, and the green. So yeah, that's definitely a cool one. Oh, and then I forgot to show you a little bit more slowly, but when you're going to change your theme in Reaper, you press options, scroll down to themes, and then you select from the list right here. So yeah, those are a couple of my favorite Reaper themes. Um, let's go ahead and put it uh, on this, this new Blackmore one that I just got for the rest of the tutorial. The rest of the tutorial is going to be dedicated to show you the th showing you the theme adjuster in Reaper. So with Reaper, what's great is if we have a theme, but we're not too happy with it, or we want to make some changes, we can use the theme adjuster to change some colors around or color code our tracks and whatnot. So go ahead and press options, go to themes. And um, since this is a third party theme, it might interact a little bit weird with the theme, the theme adjuster. You kind of just have to give it a shot and see. So let's, let's see what we got. So the first, the first window on the theme adjuster is the, um, the custom colors menu. And I love this because I often color code my tracks when working in Reaper. It helps me stay organized. So let's see, let's see if this works with this theme. So what you do is you highlight a track here and press a color. As you can see with this theme, it's mostly just changing the color right here, but that is still pretty cool. Um, and that way we can differentiate between our tracks. Um, I'll switch to another theme in a second and show you what it does. But if we had another theme on, the color change there would be more drastic. I do kind of like that though. Just the, the casual low light on each track is, um, it's still a nice differentiation, but it's very mellow. So yeah, and then as you can see, it has like a few, it has like six um, pre-selected uh, color palettes that I really like to pick from. I always like Reaper V6 or Warm. Then you also have Vice. Pride, cool, and eek, it looks like it's called. Um, that one's super bright. But yeah, so basically to use the custom colors menu, just select select which, um, which color palette you want to use, select the track that you want to change over here, and then just select your color from, the, from this menu right here. So yeah, that's how you can kind of change the individual um, colors of tracks. Let's see what that looks like on a different theme real quick so you can get a better idea. We'll just put it on the default. Yeah, so on the default, the whole track kind of changes colors. Just like that. Super easy. Okay, let's go back to another theme. Keep it interesting here. Let's go to Flat Madness. Boom. Okay. And let's see how their color change works. It looks like just that little section right there changes. So yeah, as you can see, each theme is a little bit different um, in the way that it's affected by the uh, um, theme adjuster. And then also you have options to dim all assigned colors or dim custom colors down here for, for more control of your colors. All right, let's go to the next um, tab in the theme adjuster. And this one, it's a little bit different in every, um, in every DAW because this is a third party theme. Um, in, a, in a default Reaper one, it's typically these are all controlling the size of like, you know, different functions and buttons within Reaper. Um, with this theme, I'm honestly not really sure what it's doing. Like I said, it's different with every, um, every theme you could kind of go, go through and read, but on a default Reaper theme, this would be controlling like the size of like different texts and, um, knobs and whatnot. So, um, I typically don't really use that, uh, menu very much. And then the next one, this one is cool. This one, you get control of like your entire color palette. So we can make the entire DAW way darker by changing the gamma. And I'm not really a color expert. I'm a music producer, so I'm not 100% certain what I'm doing, but that's kind of changing the backlighting of the DAW. We can change the um, some more color settings right here. So that brightens that stuff up. And right here, it looks like we're controlling the highlights, midtones, and shadows. That looks terrible right there. And then... So yeah, interesting. Obviously, I don't want that there. Move it back there. So yeah, that's how you can kind of change those things. You can also change your saturation and tint right here. So let's turn our saturation way down. You can see it almost takes away like all the color. Let's turn it all the way up. Cool. And then our tint right here. Let's turn this all the way up. See what it does. Yeah, so the tint almost like changes um, where your color is based off in the spectrum, as you can see. Um, it kind of gives you a little color spectrum right here. And I believe after that takes you back to custom colors. Yeah. So real quick, the last thing I want to do in this tutorial is let's use the theme adjuster to try to make that Blackmore uh, setting a little brighter if we can. Who knows? It might just be, might not be possible, but let's see if we can't. 
So let's turn the try to turn the light up. Okay, so already it's getting a little less dark. Whereas if we turn it all the way over here, you can't see anything. So right there, we're seeing a little bit more. That's kind of brightening up some stuff a little bit as well. It's definitely changing the way it looks. So like I said, I'm not an expert and this is the first time I've used this theme, but you know, this is a good way that you can, or this is a good example of how you can use the Reaper's theme adjuster to, you know, change a theme more to your liking. Um, so yeah, that's our, that's our guide for the day on, um, in-depth or our in-depth guide for the day on Reaper themes. Just to do a quick recap, the best place to get them is from the Reaper website. So you go to the Reaper website, resources, themes, and then like I was showing you earlier, you got just a ton to choose from. You know, we can go to the next page and look at all these. And that's looks like this one's another version of that flat madness one I was using. But as you can see, there's just tons of themes to use. So yeah, this is the best place to get them. If you want to download one, click on it. Click on the download link here. And then remember to install a theme in Reaper, all you have to do is go to your downloads, grab that theme that you downloaded, drop it in. And just like that, it takes effect. So um, that's how you install a theme. And then remember from there to change your theme in Reaper, you go to options, down to themes, pick from the list here. And then finally, you can use the theme adjuster to change your lighting and your different colors and whatnot. So that's basically all we got for the day. Like I said, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe on this video. We got a ton more uh, knowledge for Reaper and plenty of other dolls uh, as well. So make sure not to miss out on this channel. Thanks for tuning in, guys. You guys have a great day.